Hey guys, welcome to The Forge. This is Joey with Colorado River Forge, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can be able to start blacksmithing for under 250 bucks. Now blacksmithing, just like any other hobby, can actually get really expensive really quick. And for those of you guys that are on a budget, or just starting out, or just wanna dip your toes, this is the video for you. Now, you're gonna need four things something to hit your metal with, something to hold your hot metal with, something to bang it on, and something to heat it up with. First thing you're gonna need is a hammer. Now I like to use the Stanley Anti-Max Anti-Vive hammer. It's a two pound cross peen hammer. It's the first hammer I bought, but as you get through, go through blacksmithing, you're gonna be picking up a lot of hammers for different uses. You can get this hammer over at Amazon or anywhere that you can just find tools. Um, there'll be a link in the show notes for all the materials that I mentioned um, that you can get them at Amazon and you'll be able to just click right over to get them. This hammer is great. It allows you to, it's light enough to do, take care, um, to be able to handle all day, but it's heavy enough to get the job done for everything that you need. It's a great all purpose hammer. Now, if you can't afford a hammer, you might be able to find stuff at estate sales, or you could even restore stuff if you've got the right tools. And I'm gonna go over how to do that in a later video. The next thing you're gonna need are tongs. Now, you can, a lot of blacksmiths make their own tongs, but you still need something to be able to start out with. And what I started out with are these Picard Wolf's Jaw tongs. Um, they've been a great all around set of tongs, but as I've gone on and started creating other things that I need, I've had to start making my own. Um, if these tongs cost about 50 to 55 bucks, free shipping on Amazon if, you got, if you're a Prime member and if you can't afford something that expensive, you could also just use a good old fashioned cheap pair of ice grips. They're great, they keep your hands away from where it's hot and allow you to hold and allow you a better grip a lot of times than any set of tongs you could get. The, set, the third thing that you're gonna need is something to heat up your, your metal with, and for that, you're gonna need a forge. Now, this is the forge I use. I built this myself. Um, it does a great job for pretty much every job I need. Um, cost me about 100, 150 bucks to build from start to finish. Um, I'm gonna do a video on how I built that forge um, so that you guys that are um, wanting to build one and don't really want to go out and buy one you can build it yourself and basically what it is is just fire brick refractory cement and a burner um, it's a it does like I said does a great job for basically everything that I need it to do um, a lot of blacksmiths you know they argue about whether whether they want to use propane or you should use coal are you a real blacksmith if you're using either one if you're using coal should you use coke or you know all kinds of things Personally, it's whatever you can afford to be able to have and whatever you can just to get you going. And from there, you can just make your preferences from there. Now, the last thing you're going to need is an anvil. And that's going to be your biggest, uh, your biggest wild card. Anvils, brand new can range anywhere from a few hundred bucks to over a thousand dollars if you buy them brand new or even used. Um, the best place to get one is going to be is going to be either at estate sales if you're looking for something new or something used or garage sales. Craigslist has a lot of different things. The other thing that you could look at using and a lot of blacksmiths start out using are railroad um, railroad rails um, just you can buy a section of that you can usually find those on Craigslist you can look around on Facebook online I mean there's all kinds of places that you can look that's gonna be your biggest wild card um, I've seen anvils made from those railroad um, rails ranging from 50 to 100 bucks um, so that's that's what I recommend. The anvil I've got was given to me by my father-in-law, um, and my dad's got one that he's giving me as well. So um, ask around. You might have a family member or friend um, 
that might have one for you that they can give give to you the last thing you're going to need um are going to be a good cheap pair a good pair of gloves these are just old garden gloves that's what i started out with they're about two three bucks at lowe's um you can also get a decent pair of welding gloves which work a little bit better uh for about 10 bucks over at lowe's um, there's a lot of other things that you could get uh, but that's just the basics of what you need to get started um, if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if you like th these sort of videos let me know um, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um, if you didn't like it give it a big thumbs down um, and just let me know what you didn't like about it because i'm definitely always looking for ways to be able to improve these videos these are for you guys um, and to be able to help you guys get started um, if there's anything else just shoot me a line don't forget to check out um, our website where you'll find articles for everything at coloradoriverforge.com you can also check out our facebook page at facebook.com slash colorado river forge don't forget to like the page um, that's about it for today and happy forging